Hello. Hard things like speaking in public. Uh, I gave a talk yesterday about concurrency, and I argue that concurrency is hard. Actually, no, I'm wrong. Concurrency is very hard. But that's not what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about um, thinking. I was listening to a uh, uh, favorite uh, artist of mine, which happens to live in Bath nearby, uh, and the song started like I was thinking about thinking, uh, but it really didn't get me very far, which often happens. So, uh, so I thought I'd throw a tarot, but I only got a priestess and a star. Hmm. And I did some research about what does that mean, and um, apparently it's a combination of spiritual insight and inspired action. You have access to deep intuitive knowledge, and I, that's the thing, that got me somewhere. So uh, what does that mean? What do I get with this deep intuitive knowledge? So high priestess, well, in my context, I was thinking about software engineering, so my context is maybe this guy over here. <laughs> kind of looks like the, the same picture, right? Uh, and the star, well, probably it's referring to this guy who sadly passed away last year. So these two guys together seem to be the the inspiration I had. So, um, Brooks argued very famously, software is essential complexity, which kind of uh, made a point uh, of Aristotle by making the distinction between accidental and essential. And that's kind of the fundamental of our craft. It's kind of the fundamental of uh, what we are doing in software engineering. Then, Kevin has a ton of talks about philosophy of code, how to reason, how to argue. And I was like, what do you mean, Kevin Henney? And he answered into the same slide, knowledge acquisition. And that, that's even more confusing, like it's even more philosophical and even more thought provoking. And he says something like, everything that we do is applied epistemology. But, <laughs> yeah, um, a new person appeared in this picture. So applied epistemology, like that's, that's the thing that we reason about things, right? So how do we reason about things? And that's the profound thing. And in particular, the question that I'm having is how do we reason about software engineer? Like, this is an engineering discipline, right? We should be based on facts. And if you ask about what are the facts, it's kind of like, we don't quite have a lot of facts. We just keep reasoning about functions should be small and this and that and BDD and ATDD and blee 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 and whatever. So, um, there are a lot of questions that need to be answered, like uh, how to reason about code, how to reason about complexity, how to reason about software design, how to reason about software architecture, how to reason about processes, testing, and so many, many more. And those are all hard things. So, I do like hard things, so, um, what do I do with this, uh, this list of things? Well, I just created myself a backlog for me to do. And I'm happily accepting volunteers, so if you have any ideas on how to reason about stuff, please drop me a line. Thank you very much. <laughs>